Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today I have another very short Unity tip, and this lesson is going to be on the range function. Now this range function belongs to the class called random, which is a class specific to the Unity Engine namespace. So up at the top we have using Unity Engine. Now the random class has a number of different static functions which allow you to generate random numbers. But one of my all time favorites to use is the range function. The range function allows you to specify a minimum value and a maximum value, and it will return a random number between that range. The range function can take in both whole numbers and rational numbers, but when you pass in whole numbers, it will also return whole numbers, whereas when you pass in floats, it will also return a float value. Now one note to make with the range function is that if you use this function with float values, the returning value can be as precise as any other float variable can be, which is the precision of a 32-bit float. But here I'm using the range function with integers and I have a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 2. But the values that I'm looking for are either a 0 or a 1. And this is actually the note that I want to emphasize about the random.range function. And that is because this function can be used with float parameters, it can return a value from the minimum up to, but not including, the maximum. So if these were floats, it would be 0 through 1.99999 repeating. But because these are integers, the random.range function more or less just lops off all the decimals and does not round up, just as if you were to cast a float value into an integer variable. And so the note to make with the random.range function is that whatever you want the maximum number to be for your random range, make sure that you add a plus one to what you actually put into this function as the second parameter. Other than that one difficult note, the random.range function is an amazing function and tool to use, especially for games like Infinite Runners. And for this example, I'm actually using this line of code to randomly generate a path for our zigzag tutorial series. And so here you can see that this path has been randomly generated using that random.range function. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. In fact, there's a couple videos right over here that you might enjoy.